In uh, chemistry, we have very interesting uh, concept of uh, isomers. So the definition of isomers in chemistry is um, isomers are compound that have the same number and type of atoms, but which are interconnected differently and thus they have different physical properties. So isomers are the compound which uh, have uh, same number of atoms but the connectivity of one atom to another atom is a bit different. This means the order is different and because of this difference in the order uh, their appearance is different and their physical properties are totally different from each other. Although the number of I the number of atom uh, are same in both the compounds uh, of uh, uh, two isomers or more isomers of a similar um, uh, content, but uh, their physical appearance is different and their physical properties are different. So the same concept has been used in a mechanics of machine. Um, the two structures, the left hand side and the right hand side is already discussed in the previous slides. Um, the number of uh, links and joint in both the cases they are similar. I will count again. Both the uh, uh, combination of links and joints, uh, the left hand side it has two ternary links and four, one, two, three, four, four binary links. Similarly, two ternary links and one, two, three, four, four binary links. So total there are six links, total there are six links. How many nodes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven nodes or seven joining points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven joining points. Uh, six, uh, six links, six links, seven joints, seven joints. So number of links and joints in both the cases are same, but the order is totally different. So the left hand side, it is represented by this uh, Frankish molecule. Uh, as I already mentioned that the higher order in this case is ternary link, ternary link, link with three nodes or three joints. They are placed at the end and in the circle. So three three and they have to combine with the three bars uh, which presents um, uh, the interconnecting link uh, at at the one end the other end and the middle so one end is one in the middle is one and at the other end there are two links so here are two Frankish molecule of um, uh, this representation can be uh, can be can be represented as the two circles with the higher order links, higher order link one, number of uh, nodes one, two, three, number of, um, number of order of nodes at uh, the other ternary link one, two, and three. So three and three, and how they are combined with two links at one end, zero link in the middle. They are just combined at a single joint or node, so zero. At the end, the other end, there are two links. So two. So the Frankish molecule of the left hand side is three three one one two. Uh, in the right hand side is three three two zero two. Uh, interestingly, uh, the names are given to this type of uh, uh, combination of links and joints. It's called Stephenson six bar isomer. So if there is a uh, combination of links and joints, two ternary links and four Binary links are joined by this type of configuration is called Stephenson um, six bar isomer, whereas uh, the right hand side it is called Watts six bar isomer. So, if the combination of links and joint is represented by this uh, type of uh, configuration, like two ternary links combined with the uh, at both the ends by two binary links, and in the middle they are they have a common. Um, uh, joining point of the ternary link, so it's called Watts uh, six bar isomer. 
um, there is nothing in this uh, this slide but uh, but just the repetition of the uh, concept uh, taught in the in, in the in the last slide uh, and the bullet points present uh, represent uh, the 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 stuff which I um, mentioned verbally in the previous slide The only interesting point in this slide is um, uh, is the is the bottom uh, uh, configuration of links and joints. So links and joints, uh, as shared in the previous slide, um, if you remember, there are two terminal links and four one two three four four binary links. They are combined together. Uh, the interesting thing about uh, this combination is is that. Uh, um, although this structure as a whole it cannot move but a part of this structure can have some movement so if you have uh, if you count the number of degree of the whole system this whole system it will be zero but a part of this whole system has some movement or degree of freedom so as a whole degree of freedom will be zero but this part has one degree of freedom and the franky notation or franky molecule of uh, this structure can be represented by the two ends with the higher um, um, high, <coughs> higher end um, uh, links one higher order link second higher order link they are represented at the end and in the in the in the three bars represent the number of links at each end and the middle for example one uh, middle there's no link which is joining both eternal links they are joining by the single joint so number of link at the center is zero whereas the other end it has one two three three links which are joining the the end of this terminal link to this terminal link so uh, that's all from this slide uh, just read the uh, uh, bullet points one two three four and five uh, whatever i made in the uh, discuss in the previous slide it just uh, uh, written down here so uh, my request will be just go through these uh, bullet points and if you have some question, then please uh, ask me uh, via Google Classroom. Uh, this slide basically summarizes the whole discussion uh, that um, uh, although the number of uh, uh, links and joints, uh, they are same, uh, just for in this case, both are the same. Uh, but the order is totally different that's why they are called isomers and they can be represented by the Frankish formula and there's another notation uh, which is here that uh, you can also uh, make this notation as 112 yes 112 112 or 202 202 there's another combination 013 and 004 so both 013 and 0 zero four the both are invalid uh, isomers because if you uh, make some structure of uh, zero one three and zero zero four uh, the zero one three exists but there's uh, there's no motion at all and uh, it's totally invalid uh, and the last combination last combination is, uh, is it's physically it's impossible to construct so that's all from uh, this lecture if you have some question then please um, uh, raise it and ask it <coughs> sorry um, uh, the core objective of uh, uh, this lecture was to discuss a uh, basic concepts which will be followed in the um, next coming lectures because next coming lecture will be a bit more complex you will be facing um, or you will be viewing some complex mechanism and you have to figure out how they move uh, what are the degree of freedoms um, so if you know the concepts that are taught previously 
and the um, and the concept that was shared in this uh, this lecture then uh, then inshallah you will have no problem at all um, so uh, i wish you good health and uh, best of luck so see you again bye bye